All right, they're not joking around. He brought the big guns. It's like Kenny on steroids. Guys, stick around for this whole video because at the end, you're gonna see why we had to bring in the big guns. Hey guys, welcome to Three Mississippi, Sid here. And today we have a lot of work cut out for us, guys. We have some friends coming to help us because we have to get that pasture behind me ready for goats and sheep and horses. Well, a horse, maybe. Look at him, diligently measuring. Let's get to it. Ah, there's the work crew. Reporting for duty. That's right. We're gonna do three foot H posts on these. I'm gonna come three foot, put another post, mm -hmm. put a little uh, brace between them. Mm -hmm. And from this post, down to that flag, mm -hmm. over to that flag, up to that flag, over here, that's the goat pen. Got it. So if we get a goat pen built, we're looking good. Okay, so this, this gate is for the garden. That's right. This gotcha. gate's for the garden. There's a gate right here. And I believe I've put a 12-foot gate here, which is big enough for anything except for, like, hay equipment. So, you know, by putting this gate here, yeah, 12 and a half foot. By putting this gate here, we're never hay in this field. But we can get anything else in here. We shouldn't ever have to hay that field if we have animals on it. That's right. Well, and it's not a big enough field anyway to worry about. I'm pretty sure you've got a... You got to, you, you could come in from up there. We do mm -hmm. have other ways we yeah. could, you could yeah. build it in. Yeah. Worst case scenario, you take a fence down if you need to, right. get, if you need to get in there. Right. Yeah. Let me get your thoughts on this fence line right here. Cause I was thinking I want to take the barbed wire down. Okay. Uh, would you stretch, you, you know the fencing I got. Mm -hmm. That, uh, what we call a livestock fence. Yep. Would you stretch that live fence, the livestock fence up right on top of the barbed wire that's here or would you take the barbed wire down first um i would take the barbed wire i mean I, the best thing to do is take the barbed wire down because you got all those trees and everything that are in there i mean you really the best thing we could do is are you gonna you plan on leaving the t-post up there well they're pretty straight in fact they're dead straight yeah so we yeah. might as well leave them well i would pull the i would pull the barbed wire out and then run your mower you know through there before we put up any fence and then we cut off you know or trim around the post just so you don't have all that mess that's going to be in the middle of your fence perfect i got a bush hog on the back of one of the tractors i can just yep. back it in between them all mm -hmm. yeah in fact I think there's that'd probably be... room to drive through there yeah so we can put uh we can put braxton on taking barbed wire down mm -hmm. and then i was thinking for the number of posts that we need to dig corner posts um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cause I'm only going to put one right here. Mm -hmm. I don't need an H break cause I got this. So I'm going to put one right here and then I'm going to just put something between it right here and tie it to this. So seven and then, yeah, we got like 13, 14 holes to dig. So I feel like we should probably go get the. Go get the PTO driven digger. Yep. Don't you? Yep. Sorry first. Er. Hey Frankie, go grab that tractor. I need to make sure that we can turn the tractor around and uh, turn compost in this spot down here before we're married to the length of this fence. So to summarize guys, what's happening is we don't have quite enough materials to finish the whole area. So we're gonna focus on the goat area and then get more materials to finish the side for the garden. But it is gonna help section off some of that and we'll get this side done for the goats and be able to get the livestock over here on this side with the one gate in. turn it without getting in the garden. Yeah. 
gonna have to deal with forever. You know, right. so this fence, right here is permanent. You don't have to. I just like this right here. Remember the pile of four feet. All the way down, then roll it up. Hey, Frankie, run up and grab that mower, would you? We're gonna cut one path all the way down close to the gonna... fence and give you some working area. Hey, you're gonna want to go real slow. They are running down to our other neighbor's place to go pick up the auger three-point attachment for uh, the tractor because they have so many post holes to dig. So while the kids are down there taking the barbed wire off of this section of fence so that Mike can then bush hog it with the Ford tractor, then we'll be able to get the auger out here and start making those fence post holes. There's a sweet there's, spot, huh? Yep. That's it. Yes, sir, that's it. Didn't even have to use a crowbar. That's right. Did we even really do anything? We didn't need a crowbar. That's right. Well, I recognize this is my project. You the man with all the fencing experience. All right. So I feel like I'm working for you for the next couple hours. All right, well, I mean, you've got the holes, I mean, you got the spots marked. We just need to go dig a hole. So our, our roll of fencing is 300 feet mm -hmm. per, per roll. Mm -hmm. Do you want to, uh, uh, obviously we can't, we don't want to stop a roll of fencing in between wooden posts, right? We don't want to stop a roll of fencing on a, on a T post. No, definitely. So we probably want to figure, you know, do some quick measuring to figure out what's going to be, what direction is going to be the best, uh, most For the efficient most use. use of your 300, 300 feet. Cause I got two rolls of 300 feet. We're going to set these in concrete, right? Uh, we're going to put a little bit of concrete in the bottom of the, Post, but okay. we're gonna put H posts in so okay all right well I was just thinking we would dig that first hole and then we could roll it out and then put in the next pole figure out where the next pole is gonna go mm -hmm. just roll it out on the ground mm -hmm. figure out where the next pole is gonna go mm -hmm. dig it mm -hmm. and then we can and then what stand cut it, it up I, I would go all the way around cut it right there mm -hmm. cut it right there so cut it at every corner mm -hmm. okay after we get it pulled tight that makes sense because mm -hmm. I was trying to figure out how we we're gonna roll it around the corner and well you yeah now we'll cut it we'll roll it past it Cut it right there after we pull it tight, and then we'll swing it around and go the next. Now, what do I want to fashion together to pull it tight? A couple of two by fours. Yeah, length. I think that's the that's Max. that's. I mean, that's the best way to do it. This is going to be your longest run, so either we need to start there and and go down. Just or let's let's just measure, see how far that is. Right here. Yeah, from here to where we want to go on that next. Okay, one. so I'll, I'll burn a foot. For yeah. Of it. the animals are on? You put it on the sides, the animals are pushing against the wire to the post. You don't want them pushing the wire away from the post. Okay.
That's the normal spot for our burn pile, which obviously we're going to be moving. So she's clearing it out from all the leftover debris from all the things we burned. I'm actually about to give Mike one of his Father's Day presents a little early because that burn pile's got a lot of pieces of metal and nails and stuff in it that they're clearing right now. And uh, I got him one of those long handled magnets for, you know, when they drop screws or cleaning up the burn pile, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna go run upstairs and grab it. Happy early Father's Day. That's a whole lot of holes in the tire. Of course, we're not going to have a vehicle over here other than the tractor. It's going to be right I'm on the tractor. Tractor tire suspension. Yeah, they are. I just paid a thousand dollars for two of them. And that tractor's on Come On Mountain. That's right. We bought David two new tires. <laughs> You're welcome, David. You're welcome, David. <laughs> So Frankie's flipping those compost piles that we had closest to the garden because they're in the way of the fence line. So she's moving one of them to the other side right now. We cleared out where the burn pile was. Mike used his new Father's Day present, uh, early Father's Day present, to get some of the nails and things that were uh, laying in that spot so we don't puncture any tractor tires because those things are not cheap. And uh, then we're going to start using that auger and get those fence posts, uh, those holes dug for them. And then we're gonna be crack a lacking, guys. I am excited. I feel like this is like a big step. Like this is one of those things that I've been waiting on to get fencing for a minute down here. And so getting this fencing going is super, like that's a huge step, guys. It's like, that's like, that's a big deal for me. Like that just means animals and progress and like, I'm excited. Guys, I gotta brag, proud mom moment over here. Frankie just amazes me with that tractor. She was weaving in and out of all these flags, backing up, pulling forward, lifting the bucket, dumping it, doing all, dancing around these flags and all these opt obstacles that are right here. She runs that tractor really well. Kenny is like her tractor, I feel like. <laughs> it's like, Kenny's almost like her first car. <laughs> Kenny is like, Kenny's hers. <laughs> we just get her to do stuff with it. Um, but man, she blows me away. Like to think about it, man, we haven't even, we got that tractor in October after being here a few months and she's just taken to it like a duck to water. She just, she rocks it out. That kid, man, she is something else. She's a hard worker and uh, she's, she's, she's doing it, man. Let me tell you what, but you know what? She is her mama's daughter. She does have her mascara on today. <laughs> Manuel Labor. That's right. Changed my name from Michael to Manuel. Got to get all this. Oh, there. That was the last piece, last one. Get all this barbed wire off. And we got a bush hog between these fence posts. I'm going to try to do it with a mower. I may have to get the bush hog out. Some of those trees are kind of tall. Well, I'm going to get a chainsaw too. Oh. Then we'll change your name to Jason. It's not cool out here. Wasn't he the one that had the chainsaw? Who had the chainsaw? What besides, are you about? besides like uh, Texas Chainsaw Ed, Master. Yeah, besides like Ed Gaines, but like there was, it wasn't it Jason or somebody had oh, one? He's, uh, machete. Machete. You know what, Mike? We have some pretty property. We really do. I got a pretty camera operator right now. <laughs> oh. Foreman, how is the job being done to your satisfaction currently? I'll take that as a yes. Turn your other one. There you go.
get some extra lift because the tractor been bogged down. At least I didn't break the tractor like that. Dude. That's true. I just missed the That's all right. We just got a little too deep. Ryan's gonna redneck fix it. Ryan's a fix without having to take it to the shop. <laughs> That's right. It's broken. We just it did what it was supposed to do, but now it's in the ground. So I think I had to run down to get a tractor from Ross that we can lift it with. Yeah, we can just grab it right here at the top and lift it up out of the dirt. I tried to pry it, but oh, that, you ain't, we ain't prying that out. No, of well, I thought me and the tractor might. I might give it just that little bit of extra, I but it it's just gone too down. Did it just suck the tractor down? <laughs> no, it just it no, just overpowered it just the locked it up. Yeah. And That's a I garden tractor. We uh, we asking a lot of it. David well, is that's... gonna tear us apart on this video. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, I was like, I can say all I want to. Poor Kenny. If you get too big a bite, it's gonna it's gonna you know not be able to pull it up. But until you do it one time, you don't know what that means. Now now you now you know what that means. Hey. So no job ever goes 100 percent as planned. We hit a little glitch there with uh, Barry and the auger, but that's all right. They're bringing the other tractor up from his mama's house, which is our neighbor. And I'm just grabbing a chain that we need for something. And uh, we'll be back on target here in, in a bit. Ain't no thing but a chicken wang. All right, they're not joking around. He brought the big guns. It's like Kenny on steroids. I was like, he's ready for his eight second right, ride. Everybody back. Okay. Everybody. I was like, that was about to be a lot of flat metal.
Daddy said. Daddy said he thinks it was a root from that tree. How was that supposed to Nobody said it was your fault. Nobody has said it was your fault. Kenny's older brother for the save. Happen. Now let's yeah, let's yeah. investigate the hole here and see. Big old root down there. Can't let's see anything. Look. Can't see it. Dirt fell in on top of it. But yeah, there was something down yeah, there. Yeah, it grabbed it grabbed the root from that big oak tree right there. Is what happened. Well, I guarantee it. Probably. Woo! Didn't even break the shear pin. <laughs> so you got it stuck, but you didn't break it. Hey, I listen, Frankie. Let me tell you something. Yes. I'm gonna tell you something important right now. If that kind of not happened to you in life, you're not gonna learn valuable lessons. When something like that happens and nobody gets hurt, that is a best case scenario. If you learn something and nobody got hurt. They ain't over. <laughs> we need to say thank you to Kenny's older brother here for uh, coming over and bailing Kenny out. Yeah, you know, sometimes you just need a little extra oomph. <laughs> Yeah. And, uh, a little uh, this, extra. This, this provided that necessary oomph. Oh. Yes, it did. This is, uh, this is a. Do you need me to pick Kenny up and put him somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> no. Kenny's over there intimidated in the corner, sucking on his thumb right now. Poor oh. Kenny. Just a little size comparison. <laughs> yeah, that's a. Uh, it's my little lawnmower. That tractor's tire is bigger than Kenny. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It's fine. So Ryan, it's kind of fitting that you're you're setting more fence posts out here since you set all these out here when you were a kid, huh? Yeah, probably 30 years ago. I don't know, more like almost 40 years, 35 years ago, I set these posts. Um, uh, another man was living here at the time and we, we were leasing his farm and so we went around and repaired all the fences and all these really crooked posts you see was uh, me and my dad. <laughs> he loved a Bodoc post and those things do not grow straight and as crooked as they are above the ground that you see, they're that crooked under the ground as well. So there were some interesting holes dug for all of these. But they held up for 30 something years and they're oh, still going to get used. They'll be there for another 30 years. Yep. So they're all heart, no meat. They'll just sit there and, and hold whatever you put next to them. Right on.
Just stand there and look pretty, Ryan. <laughs> I stand here. I don't know about the second one. <laughs> I think Kenny, because you'll get higher. Okay. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> Frankie's like, I'm on it. I'm on it. Get out of my seat, boy. <laughs> sure, sure, Where That's the driver. So expecting right well, our little snafu with the auger did set us back a little ways today but they are stringing up this first line of fencing right now and pulling it tight they're bringing in the gates the first gate is gonna go right there and then the second gate is right here in this opening right here right where I'm standing is gonna be the second gate and this is gonna lead right into the goat pasture and then they just have to run the fencing down that side, put one more post down there where there's a flag, another post down there, and this will all be for the goats. So, may not get this finished today just because our helpers do have to get going and uh, they have been at it since first thing this morning. So, may not get it all done today, but got quite a bit done and it is looking good. I'm excited. We got a little bit of a got a little bit of a gap here. As a goat, I think a goat could walk through here. I could walk through here. I just did. I just walked right through it. You, you just got a short dummy poke. You know, you put it in there. You got a little wrap it in all that extra barbed wire and just keep them out from right there. Hook it to nothing. The one that's measured right. No. All right. This one we're abandoning for now. Oh, I hate that. Fix that later. I think we. I put it where the flag was, and I put that where the flag was, but I think we adjusted. I think we moved the flag when we were doing the long run. Yep, and then we, but we didn't, we didn't go back and adjust that. We never remeasured it. Dang. Well, everything else is right. Hey. I'm, the ADD boy strike again. I was, uh, <laughs> I was the uh, fencing expert on this, so. Fail. Fail. I'm not of the frame of mind <laughs> no, that this also, was going to go perfect. I also distracted everybody for like, what, an hour because I broke the auger? Or what? I got it stuck? You got it stuck. You didn't break it. So. You just tried to pick up the earth. Yeah. Was <laughs> that this hole that you did that on? It was this yeah, hole. Yeah, it was that hole. It, it sounds to me like it got shifted a bit too in the, in the process there. Okay. That is trust right there. <laughs> Wasn't making me anxious. It's not even my hand. <laughs> that was at his face. Right? <laughs> Let me go get a couple more. Wow. And this one needs to stop going down. One more turn. Oh, you going with this one going down? Yep. To lock the gate. Yeah. So it can't come off its hinges. I got you. 
right. That was a that was an easy one. Row, row, row. <laughs> you know, cameramen sometimes, or and women, <clears throat> get in a lot of fire and things fall on them. I know, I've heard that before. Slip off the neck, slip and off, hit them, the yeah. them on the toe at least. Yeah, I've heard that before. I'm gonna take a little step oh, back. It's gonna slide down. Mm -hmm. you, what you a little need? more. I need another right there. All right, so look, if that's we can lift, we can back that one out uh, a three quarters of an inch, inch, and it'll drop this 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 end down. All right. There it is. How's that look? Y'all tell me. I think that looks good. All right, we got a gate. That's gonna get the job done. Nice. Frankie, do another one. So there it is guys, the first gate is hung and the first section of the fencing is done and all of the posts are in. We do have to do some readjusting on the one gate post, but Mike's got a fix that he's gonna do for that. But there, we've got the beginnings of a working gate for the livestock. I am so excited. Thanks for hanging out with us guys. We appreciate you and as always, stay blessed and safety's off.